Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, these 304s are broke as a joke, man. Guys, I say this over and over and over again, guys. Credit card debt, student loan debt, and guys, a lot of this is because their emotions get involved, right? Money and emotions are intertwined with women. They see products on TikTok, Amazon, and Instagram, and then all of a sudden it's... No! <laughs> so trying to do something smart like budgeting is an emotional roller co coaster and they refuse to do it so guys we're gonna go to dumpster fire known as tiktok and look at some of these knuckleheads whining about budgeting but before we do guys like subscribe drop a comment check out my second channel my locals the playlist at the end and let's get into this why I will not be participating in No Spend January as someone who talks about money, budgeting, and finances on the internet. I feel like No Spend January has become a huge fad, especially with creators who talk about money and finances and stuff. And I know a lot of people that are participating in it, that are doing it, but I will not be. In fact, I have had a few people ask my opinion on it and why, like if I'm gonna do it or not. So I figured we could get into it. Number one, not only is it important to understand money, but it's also important to understand your relationship with it. I've never been someone who is good with restriction when it comes to you, dieting, money, or anything. No spend January. You don't say, right? January could very much lead you to double spend February. Look at that. As a human race, I believe that we are not meant for restriction. We're meant for moderation. The goal is to not restrict your spending. The goal is to manage it. Jesus. I don't think it's manageable, and I think that it can lead to overspending. So yeah, the second that I first heard about it, I was like, yeah, I will not be participating in No Spend January. This is just my honest opinion. Like, no shame if you are doing it or, you know, if you're a creator that talks about it. That's awesome. Obviously, do what works for you. And like I said, you need to understand your relationship with money. For me, I know as a person, I've never done good with restriction ever. When I try to go on diets and restrict myself, it always leads to me overeating. When I try to restrict my spending, it always leads to overspending. I want something that's more sustainable and money management is sustainable for me. It's something that I'm going to be doing forever. A restriction you can't do. It's a call to restriction for a reason because you literally cannot do it forever. And I also think that the reason why a lot of people don't budget is because they don't like restriction and they view budgeting as restriction. Now I do not view budgeting as restriction at all. Like I still get my nails done. I do it all. As long as you have the money for it Look and it's that. in your budget. I think you should be able to do it. As long as you can afford things, you plan for them, they're in your budget, you should be able to do them. I think there's no reason to restrict. We're humans, we're going to want things naturally. And especially if you're on TikTok and watching this video, you are constantly going to be shoved products on your For You page. For example, I got this, Trash takes itself out every single time. Taylor Swift spent $15 on it, love it, worth the $15. Clown now, world. I was participating in No Spend January, even though I bought this in December, but let's pretend like I bought it in January. And you know what? My urge got the best of me and I bought it anyway. It would cause me to feel so guilty about it, even though, guess what? This was in my budget, totally affordable. I could totally do it. There's no reason that I would need to make myself feel bad about spending money on this sweatshirt because I wanted it and because I could afford to do it. So yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on No Spend January. Do whatever you want. Like I said, learn your relationship with money and how you handle it. For me, restriction has just never been a good thing for me. It always leads to overconsumption, always, just with me. And I think that's the truth with a lot of people. So there's something that I won't be participating in. And I really do think that it could lead you to overspending in February. And a huge reason why I feel like a lot of people do no spend um, January is because they overspent in December. So they're like, oh, I'm going to start my new year out right and do no spend January because I bought a bunch of Christmas presents and December is just an expensive month. But it doesn't need to be that way if you just manage your money correctly. For example, I'm not 100% sure. I have to like look at the rundown and the finances, but I'm pretty sure December was one of my lowest spending months because I managed my money for Christmas shopping and all of that stuff prior. So um, yeah, that's my opinion on it. Don't feel bad if you're not participating in it. I will not be participating in it. I just don't believe in restriction and I don't believe that budgets need to be restrictive. You can either afford it or you can't. And you need to act accordingly based on that. Why I will... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this chick right here is a financial influencer. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run on muck. <laughs> 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 
Guys, can you imagine letting this knucklehead get her claws into your finances, into your bank account? And she's supposed to be teaching other women about money. Look at how much emotion is involved. She's basically saying through this whole thing, she has no discipline. Because guys, no spend January for all of us smart guys, we have no spend all year round, right? Guys, we barely go out to eat. We barely buy clothes for ourselves. Every now and then we, so we might buy something for our hobby, like a video game every now and then, like a part for the car, you know, a 40K model, you understand? But other than that, we have no spend year. And look at all this, it's emotional and this and that. I'm not good at restriction. What in the world is she talking about? Absolutely insane. Think about all the, she said if she underspends, she will definitely overspend, clown world. Absolute foolishness, man. And guys, this is considered like some like, some re revelation, right? Some like, <laughs> Knowledge come from on high that she's dropping because all these knuckleheads in her con comments. Wow, I never thought about this. Wow. <laughs> I just started watching your videos. They're so educational. I'm hooked. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Come on, dude. Come on. Guys, emotions, emotions. And guys, are hashtags. You ready? Hashtag no spin January. Hashtag finance talk. Hashtag budgeting. Hashtag pay transparency. Hashtag overconsumption. Hashtag restriction. Hashtag Gen Z finance. And another thing, guys, this whole tr pay transparency thing, people will want to know how much you're making at a workplace so that if they apply, they can try and get as much as you. Clown world. I'm going to do a whole video. Now, that's this female socialist communist mindset to where they look at how much you make and think and think that they did they deserve the same amount clown world lately i've been spending money like my name is el chapo and i run a mexican drug cartel look at Something that I my budget every single day somebody who's a natural overspender in with my budget every day allows me to course correct before situations get out of hand or spend for one or two days as long as i'm checking my budget consistently like catch it it's been three weeks since i checked in with three my weeks i used to have this really bad habit where when I did not check in with my budget, overspend, and I knew that I was overspending, I just stick my head in the sand. I would avoid looking at my bank account, pretend like I hadn't just spent way more money than I should. And lately, I've caught myself creeping back into that really bad habit. So today, I decided that today was the day that I was gonna get back on track. Sometimes I can fall into all or nothing thinking, which says if I can't accomplish the goal at 100%, there's no point in even trying. And the reality is, that's just not realistic. Today, I'm back on track with our budget. So she said that if she doesn't think that she can accomplish it, she's not gonna do it, right? Yeah, just like a woman. We are checking in with our budget. We are updating our spending tracker. Got some returns that I need to make. It was payday and I haven't even budgeted yesterday's payday. Look at that. I haven't even looked at my paycheck because I've been avoiding my bank account. But today, is the day that we get back on track. A little bit of progress is better than no progress at all. Lately, I've been- I told you guys. I told you. And guys, think about having to check your budget every day. That's crazy. Lack of discipline, right? Guys, just don't buy stuff you want. Just focus on things you need, right? Guys. <laughs> And these are the other knuckleheads you want. These women, the CEOs and COOs and, you know what I mean, high-level politicians and stuff, right? Come on, man. This chick, she's she's another one of these finance TikTokers, right? The lie detector determined that was a lie. And she can't even stick to her, her own budget. And what's with them doing all this makeup and washing their faces and everything, uh, uh, in the videos and guys i know i know i know <laughs> i have to translate guys even though it's after the fact right we now come back to the podium. <laughs> <laughs> guys no discipline none 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 and then they overthink things guys they're so emotional in this bs they have to overthink 
think things. I have to do this spend plan and this daily budget. Guys, just say, look, I need to have more money at the end of the month than I had at the beginning of the month. Absolutely insane. And then this girl has 154 comments and it's all about a bunch of knuckleheaded B, B dubs. This is so relatable. Thank you for this. Same. I was feeling suffocated by my restrictions. Come on, man. Come on. I have faith in you. I have to look at my budget three or four times a day. Of course, she is a, a realtor. The Jake and the Con comments. Guys, don't let him touch your money, man. No joint bank accounts, no nothing. You're doomed, man. You know, you guys are hashtags. Hashtag money talk. Hashtag black girls TikTok. Hashtag personal finance. Finances and she misspelled personal. She said P E R A O N A L. Peronal finances. <laughs> All right, you guys. It's AJ. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'm, I'm out of here, guys. Have a good one.